All right, guys, back on this Toro Recycler 22 with the Kohler engine. All right, just want to show you this before I go any further. If you look at the cable that works the self propel, I disconnected it. All right, it's disconnected. All right, no cable connected on the self propel. All right, I'm gonna start this baby up. I want you to watch the front tires. Now, remember, the cable's disconnected. noticed the wheels are spinning cables not even connected so instead of just changing the oil and the spark plug I already did that quick video on the spark plug with the 11 16 versus the 5 ace now we got to look at the self-propelled why is it working with the cable not even engaged this motor's not that old this motor's probably about four or five years old so this video is going to have a couple of things in it so hopefully you'll enjoy stay tuned I tell you this Kohler keeps on giving this Toro mower I just did that clip I showed you without the uh, self propel being connected. It was still spinning. I was like, why is it still spinning? Well, I took off the cover, which is four three ace headed screws. And I'm looking at this thing and I'm saying, you know, it was kind of, kind of tight. Like it was always going to turn. It's like, it's, it's not going back. Why is it not going back? Well, if you look underneath right there, Hey, Mr. Stick, look at you. Yeah, there's a stick jammed in there, not allowing the gearbox to go backwards. Imagine that. He ran over a stick. The stick held the gearbox so it wasn't uh, disengaging. So uh, basically, it's acting like a little spring in there holding the thing from going back. Never seen that before. Pretty cool. All right, we're going to take that stick out, and then uh, we'll show you when we get all done how the propel works. But yeah, a stick. Imagine that. You never know with these things, huh? All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. Here's the offending stick after I broke it out. And I tell you, it snapped off of something and wedged its way in there. Doesn't take much. <laughs> That's all it was. And now the gearbox flops all over the place. Look at that. Nice and simple. Now it'll adjust. <laughs> you never know, guys. All right, be right back. Uh, of course, someone's doing the uh, weed whacking in the background. I just wanted to show you guys how I adjust the self-propel. I make it so that when, oh Jesus. I make it so that when I adjust it, you pull the lever, the bail about a quarter inch and then it starts to engage. Yeah, figures, right? Unbelievable. Been mowing all day across the street and now all of a sudden she decides to trim. Unbelievable. All right, let me put you in here. I'm gonna turn it on and you can see the bail, how I just barely hit the bail, about a quarter inch, and then the wheels turn. Alright, that's how I adjust it, about a quarter inch. Then you have the rest of the stroke to engage the wheels. You just want to make sure the wheels are not spinning when it's sitting there, okay? All right, I got to go across the street and kick her butt. All right, I'll catch you later, guys. Bye.